yes uh, come to the next tool uh, today uh, i'm explaining about uh, bone tool okay in animate cc the bone tool is there uh, in bone tool actually uh, the other tool also there the bone tool and the bind tool the shortcut is m and uh, shift m okay first uh, let us discuss about the bone tool see by this name easily will understand we add bones simply we add bones uh, to any uh, character basically because uh, the, all the humans are any uh, uh, animals or birds or humans or any mechanical things like uh, robots and uh, mm, all the rig based uh, items rig based uh, animations uh, with bone tool it's really uh, very easy to animate okay okay let us check first uh, you have to understand easily suppose uh, this is the a shape a one shape i'm giving in other words this is the shape okay you can uh, duplicate this one so i'm using alt okay and we using alt again and dragging so these are the three shapes okay sorry yeah these are the three shapes so uh, first we have to uh, convert this into a symbol suppose convert to symbol okay for timing you keep this recession point anywhere let uh, let run was very easy to um, uh, change that one okay uh, okay uh, symbol 1 uh, okay and i right click on this and convert to symbol and again this is symbol 2 and this is convert to symbol and uh, symbol 3 okay so uh, these are all the three different uh, uh, parts uh, symbols okay and what we do these are all in one layer right so you have to uh, spread this into separate layers so how to do that select these three and just right click here and distribute to layers and distribute to keyframes so if you want to animate this as a uh, frame by frame keyframes like you can distribute this in a layer as a uh, keyframes distribute to keyframes but here i want to distribute them into uh, layers okay so i'm using distribute to layers okay so here observe here these are the all uh, three parts these are the all uh, three parts divided okay and uh, separate in uh, three layers okay then uh, what we do here uh, i have a bone tool so click this and bone tool or was m okay and with the left click drag this and suppose connect to this point and again this point okay the three are connected and with selection tool move this see these three bones are connected each other okay after that if you observe here your the three layers convert into one layer that to is a green color box it is indicating and itself it is creating the name created the name armature so armature that means what it is already uh, added bones to your shape instances okay then easily you can animate okay suppose uh, your points your pivot points are there your transform points are there then what i'll do with this free transform tool click this one click this one and push this point here okay and suppose push this point here you observe what will happen so this is connected your bone is connected to that point see previously it was here now when you change this 
a transform point to this edge automatically your bone also connected to that point now see this is very uh, easy to animate okay suppose if it is a hand if it is a hand suppose here <coughs> if you observe here uh, it is rotating suppose it is rotating completely 360 degrees right suppose your hand uh, you cannot bend back suppose this is upper arm this is the middle and this is the uh, wrist point okay so your wrist you cannot bend back and here also you cannot bend back okay so you can move bit closely to your hand but you cannot bend your hand completely back right it is impossible to fix that one suppose it is a hand okay your bone should not be bent back so what we have to do select this one select this bone and here <coughs> see in properties there is a, a constraint so click here okay and the constraint value here it is yeah here the green the green point when you move this one see it is spreading and occupying this so but you should not be back you fix here you fix here okay and this this one also here i'm fixing to a right side yes now see the arc now drag this one but clearly you observe focus here it is not bending back it is moving forward but it is not bending back because because this half circle 180 degrees it is showing here so along with this arc your bone is moving okay it is not coming to back so that means what you already added the constraint values for left offset and the right offset okay suppose suppose this is the wrist a uh, wrist but wrist also you can move bit back bit a front not very much deeply to back or a front okay to lock this one here also we have to add a bone to control this one right this bone is supporting and operating this box and this bone is supporting and operating to this bone and where is the other bone for this okay to control your wrist here we have to add a one more a bone okay so here what we'll do with the oval shoot with the oval shape i'm creating one a circle here suppose this is the circle okay and convert this to a symbol okay and what i'll do suppose here the bone tool you can connect to here now it is connected to at uh, that and even with the separate layer also converted and connected to armature a uh, one now see this is added so what is this actually this is actually what nothing so but to control this wrist this is important right so but it should not be visible so select this portion here select this portion okay and uh, come to color effects 
this is the color effects in properties and press alpha and give the alpha to zero now see this is not visible but it is there to operate in this wrist now <coughs> select this bone now this bone is for this wrist now click the constraint value okay and observe here closely and left offset increase the left offset yes give to that much and here somewhere you can change this one get into that yes a fixed otherwise a uh, bit we give we are giving a little bit uh, yes that means your wrist should not be more very uh, very much back and this is should not move very much a friend that's it now let us try let us move this one now see this one your wrist is moving that much and this much only it's not going very back i'm applying force but it is not going back because here it is locked now see that's okay good but when you move this one these three parts are moving uh, very freely but suppose this is upper arm this is lower arm and this is a wrist this will move very flexible manner and this is in the normal medium and this is less okay for that what you do <coughs> select this bone and here give 100% uh this what is this this is actually uh, the timing speed okay the speed will be 100 only but this speed i'm reducing to uh yeah of 50 or 60 yeah let us say 50 i'm giving 50 okay and this bone here i'm giving 25 25 that means what this bone will move a bit slowly this is a bit faster and this is more faster let us move this one see this is moving very flexible and the middle bone is moving averagely and the backbone is moving very uh, slowly okay so in animation we apply all these methods okay <coughs> and here uh, some other options also there i'll explain uh, when you animate any character with the bone tool right in the coming class <coughs> i'll use the bone tool and i'll animate uh, characters there clearly more clearly will understand all about this this is a uh, very uh, basic to understand about the bone tool okay the next uh, tool i'll explain the next uh, class okay thank you